Have you been pondering how to find the mass percents of potassium and oxygen inside of potassium oxide? Well, ponder no more, my friend. You've come to the right place. Put all your fears and tears aside because that's what we're going to do. We're first going to find the mass and then we're going to find those percents. Watch how quick and simple this is. Bam. So the first step is we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have potassium, we have oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript for a particular element, just put in a one. So there's two potassium, one oxygen. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. So we have potassium here, 39.10, and we have oxygen over here, 16. So let's write that on down. So we got 39, 39.10, and we have 16 for oxygen. Next, we're going to find the total mass of each element of the compound by simply multiplying this row on across. So the total mass of potassium is going to be 78.20, and the total mass of oxygen is just going to be 16. And then that almost looked like 16W, right? Um, then we're going to add these together. So the total mass here is going to be 94.20. And there it is, right? That's the first step of the process, finding the total mass of the compound. Now that we've found that total mass, we're going to add a column to the table. The calculating the percents here are going to be easy as pie. Mmm, pie. Bam. So to find the mass percent of potassium, take the total amount of potassium, 78.20, divided by the total mass of the entire compound. Hence why we had to do that first, find the, finding the total mass. And also this table helps us break down the information. We're always going to be looking at this column to find the mass percents here, okay? So when we do this, we simply have to divide it and then multiply by 100 because we need it in terms of a percent, right? This is part over whole times 100. All right, just get to the number, right? So this is going to be 83, 83.01, all right, percent. And that's all that there is to then finding the mass percent of potassium. Same thing for oxygen. Take the total mass of oxygen, 16, divided by the 94.20. Don't worry about the sig figs. Don't forget to multiply by 100, though, like I almost did. And then here is going to be 16.99%. All right. And what should happen is these two should add up to 100%. So that's a quick way to check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right. And that's all there is to it. See how easy as pie this is? It's so... Mm, pie again, pie. Hmm. I wonder what's on my mind. So anyway, um, yeah. Yeah. That's all there is to it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now you don't have to ponder anymore, right? Put those fears... Put those peers. Put those peers. Peers and fears aside. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.